In this video, I'll go through how to take the simple steam we created in the previous video and easily turn it into a cozy flickering flame effect to add to your 2D blender scene. Let's start by pressing Shift A to add a background plane. Rotate it 90 degrees on the X axis. Then Control A and apply the rotation. Scale the plane according to the aspect ratio of the background image you're planning to use. We also want to move it back a little, so set the Y location to about 5. Then in the shading editor, let's name the material background image. Delete the principled BSDF node. Shift A to search and add an image texture node and an emission node. Connect them up and add the image you'd like to apply the flame effect onto. If you don't have a camera, add one with Shift A. All the transforms should be set to zero, except about negative five on Y for location and a 90 degree rotation on X. Go to Camera Object Properties and set it to Orthographic. Press 0 on the numpad to check the camera render view. Select the background image, press S to scale and fit the window nicely. Let's get a better angle in the side panel. If you don't have this view, you can change it at the top here to 3D viewport. Now select your steam. Press G to grab and move it into the approximate place you want the fire. S to scale. Now we want a couple more layers for the fire, so press Shift D to duplicate, Y to lock direction and move it back a little. Then repeat to get a third and move it back. These will be our three color layers of the flame. To get them to behave differently, we need a separate material for each. Select your first layer, then we copy the material, name it something like Flame 1. Repeat this with incremented names on the second and third layer. Perfect. Let's make the back one a little taller by pressing S to scale, Z to lock direction and pull it up a bit. S to scale, X to lock and make it slightly slimmer. The middle layer I'll leave like this, but you tweak yours as you like. For the front layer, S to scale, Z to lock in Z direction and make it shorter. S to scale, X to lock and make it wider. Let's position them all so that the bottom of each plane is at the same height. Now let's set the colors. Go to Material Properties and select the back layer. For this one, I will make it a lighter color, like a yellow, and set the emission strength to around 10. The second layer, I'll do more of an orange, slightly darker. Let's do around 50 on the emission strength. Then on the last layer, let's do a dark red with emission strength at 75. And again, just play around with these until you get the colors to match what you're looking for. I'm not super happy with this yet. So let's press Shift A and drop a math node between the alpha channel feed and set it to multiply. This will allow you to control how transparent the layers are. Do this on the materials for each layer. Adjust the values and the colors until you get your layers to match your image. Now let's get the flame to look a bit more lively by manipulating the values of the multipliers affecting the noise texture's movement. We can make the back layer a little faster, let's say 3 on X and maybe 3.5 on Z. The second layer can be even more, maybe 5 on X and 3 on Z. For the red, let's keep it slower, maybe 1 on X and 2 on Z. You want to keep these values different on each layer to give it that flame-like flickering effect. And that is all for this video. As always, I hope you found it useful. Feel free to like, comment and subscribe for more. Cheers for now.